focus in all those ways. So works progress, some of the items that have been completed. There's a the listed one, all earthworks, the cement retake base pavement, the concrete, landside roads. We had a box culvert to, to tackle the drainage because we have a big drainage issue here. The access road from site to quarry, so part of them, and then drainage and sanitation all has been completed. That we raised are as follows. Number one, the issue of the contract sign. That is issue number one. Number two, the issue of the mobile control tower. Because in the presentation, we were told that there are not going to be provisions for fixed control tower. So members of parliament queried and asked questions as to why they are not going to establish a, a, a fixed um, a control tower, but a mobile control tower. Then we were told that in the original BOQ, the issue of staff accommodation was included. But in the presentation here, we have learned that the issue of staff accommodation has been removed, has been excluded. Issues of local content was raised here. The main elephant in the room, why the delay? Why the delay in the project? The project which was supposed to have commenced about 20, 2018, supposed to have taken only 48 uh, months, that is two years. But up to now, so you can see if it is to, 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 to end about the 13th of August 2025, that would mean the project would take actually a whole seven years, as opposed to the two years that was uh, actually put on paper. And then, of course, the naming of the international airport. People are wondering why uh, it all, in, in all the documents we still have the Kamari uh, International Airport, as opposed to the proposed Kabalega International Airport.